Pierre-Luc Dubois has apparently informed the Jets what we all already knew. He's not re-upping long-term. He'd like to move on. I assume most teams will be pretty hesitant because we're all just assuming he's headed to Montreal uh, in a year when his contract is up. Montreal is apparently engaged, but again, why would you give up much? No one, Zero chance, We're man. rebuilding right now. We'll wait another year, and yeah. he'll come to us for free. What I thought was interesting was... And I'll have to pay him less than a year because he wants to be here. Right. And the reports circulating right now, though, are that he would like $9 million per season. Well, get the fuck out of here. You know how I feel about centers, uh, that that's where you build, that's what you... Whatever. But this is a guy who is a 60-point center who has never had 30 goals in his career and is pretty good defensively, but not good enough that he's ever in that Selkie discussion. So right. a useful piece, but $9 million... Do- you know, we're, we're, I guess everything's going to have to be adjusted here. We are getting ready to talk about the cap exploding and all these sorts of things. But are you, even if you're Montreal or I don't, are you interested in Pierre-Luc Dubois at $9 million? And if not, what would you give him? 7.5. Okay. That's the ceiling yeah. for, for, uh, as you said, a 60 point two way center, 7.5, man. I, I'm willing to give him a little bump on the. Nah, come on. And you're talking about a guy who's talked his way out of two teams. Yeah. Like, I don't care if Maybe it's you. Yeah, <laughs> well, exactly. And, and, and if you look around and you don't know who the asshole in the room is. Yeah. It's, it's you, definitely man. you. It's you. <laughs> and so it, I don't I've care. I've made that calculation a time or two. Yeah. In this room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and if you, yeah. it, it, it doesn't matter if that guy ends up where he wants to be, you're still a dickhead. You're a dickhead, and and how does that manifest itself in your place of choice? I do wonder, like, I don't know that he's married to just Montreal. I assume that's what's going to happen. I hope not. If he wants nine million bucks, he needs a little bit of a bidding war. I wonder, I don't know if they'll be back this year, but his contract ends next year. Are Krejci and Bergeron both about to clear out of Boston, and would they consider... They, they still don't have the room. I don't have their. I don't have their cap. Not friendly. this year. Okay. But when he's an unrestricted free agent, like this year, he's only making whatever. I don't know if they could afford to bring him in or not. They're going to be tight up against it. Uh, they almost need well, Krejci and Pergeron to play because they have those bonuses from last year. I was going to say they have leftover money from this year that yes. will apply to next year, even without those. Right. Guys. So it probably doesn't work this year. I as you said, I don't have his contract in front of me right now. Maybe he'd fit, maybe he wouldn't. But next year, if he wanted 9, you know, if he was to be dropped in there with Pasternak and Marchand, you know, maybe that's a fit. I I, I don't know if he's interested in that. Like maybe it is just I'm going to Montreal and that's it. But I do think Charlie Coyle looks in Winnipeg. <laughs> He's looking to get out. <laughs> I was just in Minnesota. Yeah. You're going to send me further north? <laughs> it's a terrible idea. They, they 7.5. Need, they need to get, they need to get creative. Boston. Boston. Yeah. Period. Right. One of their goalies has got to go swim and I believe is, is coming up. Yeah. You have to start making, you got to start making moves. But they are also like, when you look at that blue line, when you look at Marshan and Pasternak, they're not interested in rebuilding. They're going to look, they're going to need to find a center to drop in there to, re- to replace Bergeron. Yep. I don't know who else is going to be out there. Maybe he is a fit as that two way guy that I still wouldn't give him 9 million, but they might be desperate in a year and have to, that, uh, other than Montreal, that's the only place I've been able to look around and go, yeah, you know, maybe I could see that. Yeah. Well, and it will be, it's, but I'm not, I'm not wasting my time on PLD. No, if I'm almost anybody else. Unless he's coming with an extension, I'm not making a trade because I expect he's just going to walk in a year to Montreal. Well, and I was going to say, even with an extension, do you want that guy? No. As you've said, he's already bailed on two franchises. Well, and at what point does he go, yeah, all right, I'll go there. Two years later. I'm Eh. I'm disinterested. You're like, I don't need that guy. Anybody who's going to bring that. Right. What are you doing in the room? And you've already looked at, at, at a Winnipeg room that is... Well, they're going to clean it right out by the sounds of it. Shifley's going to go too. Uh, yeah. It's what a the, trash organization, right? Like Winnipeg. Yeah. 
I don't. I don't think it's a trash organization. Oh, no, I do. I just think Hellebuck's going to go. Like they're going to. Well, be I, I just. I was on the way over here today. I was looking at it and Hellebuck said, "I, I don't want to sign an extension." Yeah, no, I'm out. And so, you are now entering rebuild city limits. Yeah. It's, it's, you can see it. Well, that's the, the old joke, right? Kevin Shevel Dayoff hasn't been able to do anything to improve that team for long. It's, it's Kevin trade deadline day off and Kevin Canada day off, right? Like yep. it's, this is, he's just not been able to get, now part of that is obviously where he is, right? Like trying to attract free yeah, agents yeah. to Winnipeg is. But let's think about when they, when, when they st- first were on the cusp and they should have beat Vegas in that, in that expansion year and Why? they, and they didn't. Uh, just because that that they were the team that they should have won that series. Okay. Um, Lots of teams should have beaten. Vegas yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. Game one win, and you're like, this is this is this is the trajectory that franchise was on. And then it's just been the the, the mass exodus on D. Yeah. But you you were looking at at that point that that trajectory was built through the draft, patience, built through the draft. And and there were lots of accolades going Shevel Dayoff's way for his patience. Maybe not in your pants, nope. but in a lot of places. Front cover of Hockey News. Next next Canadian Stanley Cup champion. Bam, Winnipeg Jets. Well, how'd it go? And not well, <laughs> not well. But I'm just saying, you clearly are seeing through all the bullshit. Matt knows more. I do. Yeah. Yep. No, no. It's But it, you know it's for cl- years now yep. I've been lower on the Jets than most people. Yep. Yeah. And so I, I was speaking from the heart. Sure. Yeah. You it's, took it, it really you took like it, it in a different direction. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Um so your ability to see through all the bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think they're a good team yeah. or a good room. Well, and and that that has proven to be true. Yeah. They are the flip side of your Boston Bruins coin. Yes. That's actually a perfect way of... If you bang the drum loud enough and long enough, Matt, <laughs> some will be right, some will oh, be wrong. sorry. I see what you're saying, that I kept saying the Bruins are going to fall off and they have done the opposite at every turn. I thought you meant maybe a room that's getting more out of it than the sum of its parts, right? And is a better organization than maybe they have any right to be right see, now. Yeah, but that's... Look at you, man. You've been surviving all these years by... Burying the Jets. <laughs> <laughs> And, and Every time someone brings up the Bruins, <laughs> yeah, but the Jets, yes. fucking losers. That was fucking Bruins blow. <laughs> I don't trust those guys. Right. I have no faith in them. Oh, wait. Mm. Mm. Anyways. Yeah. 